Touch and we wanted to know what Buckeye Nation thought of Jim Trestle stepping down. Jordan Burgess talked with some fans at the Warrior Soccer Classic going on today. He's live with their reactions. Jordan? As you can imagine, this was the talk of the tournament this morning as word slowly made its way around the soccer field. I even had people coming up to me to ask if the news was in fact true. Unfortunately for Buckeye fans, it's all too real. You could spot them a mile away, the people with the O's on their faces to match the ones on their hats and shirts. You, you never would have thought it. You know, I mean, six months ago, you, you would have been shocked, you know, but now it's just, it, it's just insane. Nice ball, Sam. As these parents watch their sons and daughters in the finals of the Warrior Soccer Classic, another kind of football was being talked about on the sidelines as word spread of Jim Trestle's resignation as Ohio State head football coach. Very surprised, but you know, I, I had heard it was possibly coming. With so many soccer matches going on around them, many fans couldn't help but talk about the kicking that Trestle and Ohio State's program have taken over the last few months. I didn't want to see him out, but boy, I tell you what, with everything that you see, I don't think there's any other choice. You know, he, he's the leader, and, and so goes leader goes the rest. And, uh, you know, if you don't have trust in your coach and, and alumni and, and, and the fan base, you know, I mean, what else can we do? But despite the scandal that finally did in the senator, Fans say they have fond memories of Trestle's time running the football program. It doesn't take away from what happened on the field. I mean, they had to play football and had to beat who they had to beat. We're going to miss the little vests and everything. <laughs> Uh, the sweater vest may no longer be in style in Columbus, but don't expect fans to purge their closets of scarlet and gray. And we've got more football talk in the next half hour, only instead of a coach being booted, this is about the Dayton area economy getting a kick. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News on your side.